Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new NVIDIA update video. So today, as per usual, let's talk about NVIDIA stock. Let's talk about what is happening with the stock, what we can expect moving forward and all of that good stuff as per usual. So also as per usual, if you enjoyed this video and if you find it useful, helpful, informative, uh, please don't forget to hit that like button, maybe share with friends or someone you think will find this useful as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And of course, my membership section is live. That link is down below. If you're interested for just $3 a month, you can access to all my intraday thoughts, posts, updates, etc., on Tesla and just a broader market as a whole sometimes as well every single day. Definitely check it out for three bucks a month. For $5 a month, you get access to all of that, plus daily NVIDIA updates from me uh, every single day, obviously. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Link below for that YouTube membership. But jumping into it, NVIDIA closing the day down 0.05%, closing at just above $119 per share, which isn't anything to really write home about. Obviously, a slight underperformance compared to the market. But yeah, we're in a bit of an interesting situation here, right? Clearly, this is why, so remember I said the 120 level? Well, we came up to it once again today, ever so slightly went above it by a few cents, but ultimately got rejected by it once again and printed a doji candle. So this is where things start getting a little bit interesting. Now, if you watch my Tesla video or if you haven't watched my Tesla video, you kind of know what I'm roughly expecting with the broader market. But if you haven't, I'll quickly reiterate it uh, before we dive deeper into NVIDIA specifically. But Personally, right now, the broader market, I expect the broader market to have a little bit of a sell off uh, early next week into the first rate cut or potential rate cuts uh, on Wednesday. I expect the market to get a small cool off, right? Not a big one. Again, QQQ, for instance, if it's a place to reject, this is, by the way, where it is. But I'd expect QQQ to probably reject from here and most likely make its way down. Um, I don't know when, Monday, Tuesday, early Wednesday, I don't know, somewhere around there to the 21 EMA, which will be about a 2% drop in the market, which is not too much. But ultimately, I expect that to be pretty much the, the the end of it because the daily on the QQQ, for instance, still looks pretty solid. And I expect NVIDIA to pretty much follow suit, right? I do expect NVIDIA to pretty much do the same, come back down to the 21 email around that 115, 116, something like that range, which isn't too much lower from here. Again, that will be about a 3% drop from here-ish, not too much lower. Uh, and that's the main thing I'd expect. And I, I, as of right now, I would expect that to hold. I'd expect it to most likely bounce off of that post-rate cut decision. And I expect NVIDIA and the market to probably move up uh, much higher from there. For instance, NVIDIA, I'd expect it to probably ultimately make its way back up to about 125 roughly per share. And that'll be my kind of general perspective right now, right? It'll look something like this, right? That's what I roughly expect for the next couple weeks or so, let's say, right? Give or take. I don't know exactly how long, but we'll just say a couple weeks. Um, so that's just that's just my perspective. That's kind of what I expect right now moving forward, right? And the reason I only expect such a shallow pullback and not really much more than that is because, well, first of all, NVIDIA, as long as, of course, it holds that 21 EMA, respects the 21 EMA pretty nicely. I actually, I actually really like how much the stock respects a 21 EMA because it makes things easier for us. So again, just eyeball that really closely. And you know, as long as it continues holding above it, I don't expect much more downside from NVIDIA, right? I expect it to hold and most likely continue and bounce off of that, right? Also, the daily has officially had a MACD bullish flip. I did start a small bullish position with sold cover calls for next week on NVIDIA today, and I will definitely be buying more uh, if we come down to uh, 115, uh, 116, 115. I will absolutely be buying more uh, as long as it holds, of course, right? That's pretty much my stop loss. But Stochastic still looks great. BX Trender looks great. Uh, RSI looks pretty good, which, by the way, I, I mentioned this in the Tesla video, but I'll mention it here as well. I did switch my RSI to the to a five. Uh, if I go over here to settings, right, the RSI length I set to a five. Usually it's on default like 12 or 14. This makes it much more aggressive and much less of a laggy indicator, which is nice to see. RSI still has more room to the upside before it gets quote unquote overbought on the daily chart. So that's always a nice thing to see as well. Um, but again, with this doji candle, I want to show this little chart right here. I do expect, again, a little bit of a cool off, right? Because doji candles, 57% of the time, actually do show a bearish reversal, all right? Especially if it's a gap up, which I guess this one wasn't a gap up. So maybe this, uh, I mean, in AMD actually did a gap up in doji, right? So that definitely could be in play for sure for AMD. But, you know, NVIDIA, nonetheless, a doji candle, right? It, is, it shows indecision and it does show potential reversal. But again, there's just a lot of strength in the daily chart, right? Remember how I was saying there's a lot of strength in the daily chart when we were doing this rise up right here? I'm seeing similar strength again, right? I'm seeing very similar strength as the strength that we saw during this massive, massive run. But I do expect a little bit of a cool off moving into early next week. Again, 21 email. But again, with this massive strength on the daily chart, it's looking pretty damn potent. Now, going over to the one hour chart, this is where that weakness really is kind of shining in a little bit more, right? RSI, you can see showing potentially a bearish divergence. MACD, you know, flip bearish, definitely making its way lower now, right? We have the BX Trender still, you know, making lower lows, still not showing any signs of bottoming out whatsoever. Um, we have the stochastic also with the bearish crossover, still with the bearish crossover, pretty much pointing downwards, right? So the one hour to me is definitely losing steam. And that's why short term, again, short term to me, a one hour chart, 
usually indicates two days of price action, maybe one day, but probably like two ish days of price action, which is why I expect about a couple of days of, you know, slight weakness, slight drop uh, in, in the market in NVIDIA to the 21 EMA, because that's what the one hour chart is showing me. But again, the daily chart still looks pretty damn solid. This is not a daily chart I would short. Absolutely not, unless NVIDIA loses the 21 EMA. But as of right now, I don't expect it to do so. But again, with this doji candle, I do expect NVIDIA to get a little bit of a drawdown. Options flow has been very bullish for NVIDIA, though. I will make that very, very clear. Options flow has been quite bullish. I don't know what the hell this was. 913. Someone came. Okay, maybe someone can clarify this. Maybe I'm just completely. I don't know. At pretty much 3 357. So literally three minutes before the market closed, someone bought a call on NVIDIA 110 strike for 4.6 million that expired in three minutes. Okay, interesting. I guess that, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so that's interesting. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the point is I'm trying to make here is the fact that NVIDIA looks good. NVIDIA looks solid. It looks it looks great, right? The weekly is where things are a little bit less, con uh, more concerning, right? Where the weekly, for instance, you know, the stochastic has a bearish crossover. Could turn bullish if we actually rally up uh, next week or the week after. Definitely can, can turn bullish. But, you know, the MACD is definitely showing some weakness, right? The BX trend are not really showing too much strength. It does show a higher low, but nothing, like, it's not a crazy higher low. So the weekly, then NVIDIA can definitely use some work, right? There's definitely some work that can be done on the weekly chart. But again, I, I don't really trade off the weekly chart. I usually trade off the daily or the one hour chart. And again, one hour chart looks a little bit bearish short term. Daily chart looks pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. Honestly, pretty damn good to a point where I can absolutely see NVIDIA move up to 126 in a couple of weeks. I can absolutely see that happening. So anyway, without rambling on too much, that's kind of the gist of what I'm seeing. Small pullback, 21 EMA, as long as it holds, I expect them ultimately a move higher post cut decision to about 126 roughly. And then we'll see from there, of course, uh, you know, whether or not we break out of it and we maybe head even higher or we get a massive rejection. And ultimately NVIDIA can look something like this, right? Can look come down here, a little retest, come back up, 126, 127, whatever. And then we ultimately potentially get a massive rejection and we just essentially come back down to the opposite side of this, um, essentially massive, massive wedge or bull flag or whatever you want to call it that we're building, right? That we're getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And we haven't truly revisited the bottom of one of this, a uh, bottom part of this little wedge that we're in. Uh, we got pretty close recently at 103, 100, but we didn't actually really get to the bottom of it. So honestly, at some point, maybe a seasonality, election seasonality in October kicks in, which is historically pretty bearish. Maybe, maybe this is the drop that gets us all the way down there. So for instance, you know, if we come up to 126 and we do drop all the way back down to 100, that will be about a 20% drop from there. So technically a possibility, technically a possibility. We'll obviously take it day by day, level by level. So we'll see from there. But that's kind of the gist of what I'm seeing for NVIDIA moving forward. Very, 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 very short term. I think it's a little bit bearish, but the daily chart still looks bullish for the next couple of weeks out. But then from there, we'll, of course, reiterate and revisit it to see how it's looking and shaping up to be. But that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think down below. If you found this video useful, informative, helpful or anything like that, would appreciate a like button on the video and a share with anyone else you think that can find this useful. But all that being said and done, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, don't forget, by the way, I want to make it clear. NVIDIA and AMD usually roughly move similar, similarly ish. Um, AMD, similar situation, gap up, doji candle. I mean, NVIDIA doesn't have a gap up, I guess, but nonetheless, AMD is also setting up a doji candle. So also wouldn't be surprised for AMD to come back down to the 21 email, also around 146, which also would be similar moved to uh, NVIDIA. So, I mean, the market all looks pretty similar to me. Most things are above the 21 email, but they haven't came back to truly retest it on the daily. And that's kind of just what I expect in the broader market as well. Tesla, NVIDIA, AMD, QQ, SPY. They all look very similar to me, and I think they all probably want to come back down to retest that 21 EMA in the next couple of days. I expect it to hold, and I expect us to probably move higher after that. We'll see if that actually holds true or not, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.